you have three quarters of a cup of sugar. A recipe calls for five eighths of a cup. After following the recipe, how much sugar will you have left over? So I start off with three fourths of a cup and then I use five eighths. So that much gets used up or taken away from the original three quarters of a cup that I started with. So after I, I start with my three fourths and then I use up five eighths of a cup, how much is left over will be given by this subtraction, three fourths minus five eighths. So let's rewrite this problem, but instead of the three fourths here, I'm going to write six eighths because three fourths is the same as six eighths. So three fourths minus five eighths is the same thing as six eighths minus five eighths. And I can subtract those because they're like fractions. They're both eighths. Six eighths minus five eighths is one eighth. And that's my answer. One eighth of a cup left over. In this problem, we're told that Joe runs six and a quarter miles on Monday, three and a half miles on Tuesday, and one and three quarter miles on Wednesday. His goal is to run 15 miles during the week. So how many more miles does he need to run to reach his goal? Well, first, let's add these numbers up. We're going to add up the six and a quarter and the three and a half and the one and three quarters. That's how far he ran on each of those three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So adding those up, will give us the total miles that he's run so far. So we add six and a fourth plus three and a half plus one and three fourths. Now let's rewrite this problem so it's a little bit easier. First we'll convert all of these to improper fractions. The six and a fourth, I do six times four is twenty-four plus the one is twenty-five. So I get twenty-five fourths. Then the three and a half, three times two is six, plus one is seven. So that's the same as seven halves, and I add one and three quarters. Four times one is four, plus three is seven, so that's seven fourths. Now let's rewrite this again. I'm going to take this whole expression here and rewrite it so all of the fractions have a denominator of four. So I just need to change that one. And seven halves will be the same as fourteen fourths. So I can write twenty-five fourths plus fourteen fourths plus seven fourths. And that's going to equal twenty-five plus fourteen plus seven. I think I can do this in my head. 14 plus 7 is 21, and if I add 21 and 25, I get 46. So that's 46 fourths, and that can be reduced. Both of these numbers are even. I can divide them both by 2 and get 23 halves. Let's do that division, 23 halves. This is the total distance he's run now. That's 23 halves. That's the distance in miles. But let's write it like this, 23 divided by 2, I'm going to have 1, I subtract, I just get a, I just get a 3 there, and another 1, I subtract, I get a 1, so 11, remainder 1, so that's 11 and a half miles that he's run. That's how much he's run so far. He wants to run 15 miles total during the week. So if we take the 15 and we subtract the 11 and a half, we'll have our answer. That's how many more miles he needs to run to reach his goal. Well, 15 is the same as 30 over 2 minus 11 halves, and we've seen that 11 halves is the same as 23 over 2. So we have 30 over 2 minus 23 over 2, that's going to be 7 over 2. And that's our answer, 7 halves, and that's the same as 3 and a half. So that's how many more miles he needs to run to reach his goal of 15 miles for the week.